it's my money, you owe me, you're gonna pay me. Two, you're a millionaire, but nah, man, it was my money, man. You're born again, say, nah, it's the principle. See, the law of sin and death is in your flesh. Because the moment you activate that law against someone, you now lose what little bit of hope you had. Jesus said, what you want done to you, do to others. I'm going to bless you. I'm going to bust the devil upside the back of his head. That's in your flesh. You need to know that. Putting people in their place is in your flesh. They said, sorry, you got to make them pay. Amen. That's right. See, to forgive someone, point blank, I know we don't have time. To forgive someone is to say, I don't want you to pay for what you did. That's right. Amen. Amen. Yes. Yes. See? I don't want you to pay. That's right. That's right. If you still want them to pay, then you did not for And that's in our flesh. Yes. That's why we don't like people in church. Because All right. All right. Okay. we're full of flesh. Amen. How can you not like a brother or sister getting on the same bus with you yes. going to heaven? All right. Amen. 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 It's your flesh. Yes. It's your flesh. Yes. Now, am I supposed to like everyone? No. But you should have enough love. Amen. And even if you get enough love, it can fake, it can fake like you like it. <laughs> love, bear for all things. Hope for all things. Endures all things. Love never fails. Life will fail in a moment. I don't like red. I don't like the heat. I don't like the cold. I don't like cologne. Right. I don't like perfume. Right. I don't like chicken. Right. I don't like pork. Right. I don't like you. <laughs> I don't like you. I never liked your mother. <laughs> Something about love. But that like stuff is in your flesh. Come on. You know, God wants to bless his church financially, but people don't like giving. <laughs> then you got a few people, five in the church. Every church got five of them. They love giving. 95, I don't like giving. That's your flesh. You're afraid that your flesh will be uncomfortable. Yes, amen. That's why, oh God, that's why when you want to get married, if you're a man, you better go smell before you go in the house. Before you smell this perfume, don't go in. Because you're going to be her dinner. Because you know you're a man. Man is 90% 90% flesh. He go by his nose. He better smell something cooking. Single man, if you go into a woman's house and you don't smell meat, I'm talking about food. <laughs> See, I went out here for you. <laughs> women ain't stupid. See, one thing you gotta realize about a woman, a woman is not a man. They don't think. They know. They know what they're gonna do. They're not dumb. I never met a dumb woman. <laughs> No, I don't want to. I gotta go. I got 37 seconds. So you see, the law, this is what you gotta understand. Inside your flesh is the law of sin and death. But the spirit of life in Christ Jesus can make you free from that. I use an analogy, you know, don't lift your hands. You know, if you ever fornicate, I'm gonna use a woman as an as as a as an example because a woman has the disadvantage of having the desire for a man. 
a man don't have a desire for a woman, a man has a desire for sex. A man wants sex and he wants food. He don't want a woman, but it comes by a woman. Some of you from the South, why buy the cow when you get the milk for free? They want, they want. It's true. They're men, they caught them. But a woman, because of sin, because of the fall in the garden, the woman's desire is to that man. She don't want to have sex. Why do women have sex? It's because they're looking for love. They don't want to have sex. But that hungry jack said, You know the old saying, you know, men play at love to get sex. And women play at sex to get love. It's in their flesh. See, when the woman, when the woman was cursed, when she was cursed, her desire went to the man. It's a part of the curse. Think you need a man. Ain't nobody gonna talk to you. Dude. You mean it's a curse? Yeah. That's, a, that's part of your curse, your desire being to that man. Now, naturally, you'll have attraction, but you don't need them. But when you think, I just need a man. Somebody wants to put something in your body. If a man put a manly organ in your body, then the stuff he shot in you is talking to you. For in case it's nasty, they, they, they urinate stuff in your body, and that stuff, it's like those movies. See, she don't get sick. <laughs> you ever see those movies where, they, when they're trying to corrupt the computer, they upload a virus. When, if a woman fornicates, her, her, her system is, is corrupted. And so what that man put in her is now making her think she wants more of it. That's not just for women, but that's our flesh. Yes. When Adam and Eve put the sinful nature in us, it's corrupted. Yes. Our bodies is trying to get us to die as quick as possible. Yes. Yes. That's why you got some people that cook these good fried chicken, but they didn't tell you it was a half a pound of lard <laughs> to make it taste that good. And then they got clogged arteries, right? Now stay with me, watch this. Clogged arteries. The doctor told him, your arteries are clogged. It's from that greasy food. But you smell it, you be like, just one more bite. I know I'm taking my time. I'm not trying to bore you, but I just want to tell you something. See, the law of sin and death is in your flesh. Your flesh don't care that you die. It wants you to die. It... All right, you ever seen a handsome man? Now, a lot of men are just ugly. Right? We, we, we ain't good looking. You know what makes a man good looking? The woman. If she say he's good looking, he's good looking. <laughs> you talking about a handsome man. How you gonna be handsome? Somebody gotta tell you that lie. You wasn't born with a mirror. Nobody wanna hear a word I'm saying. Am I right or wrong? You tell somebody ugly, you tell them they pretty. It's a law. They don't think they're handsome until you tell them. Your body has been told. You're dying. The law of sin and death is already at work. It is not going to be reversed unless something comes into the body that can push it. That's right. Amen. That's all right, Pastor. When the spirit of life Hallelujah. in Christ Jesus yes. gets in you, yes. it frees you Amen. from the law of sin and death. Regulations. Rules and regulations strengthen the flesh. Ha! Diggity dog. You preach your word. The more of the law you know, the more confused you're going to get. Ah, do I observe the Sabbath? Ah, do I, uh, do I wear linen and wool? Ah, do I, uh, wear with my cow falling again? Whoa. Uh, it's six o'clock. Hey, get me in the house. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Can't 
Can't talk. Hey, that's my mother. She died. Can't touch her. She's dead. Can't touch nothing dead. This is the law. This is the law. Mama, you just dead. You have to lay there, Mama. Ain't touch you. If you start reading these things, you try to apply them in this life. You're gonna have trouble. Paul said it like this. How many women in here circumcised? I just want to sit there listening. Sometimes I'm trying to listen. <laughs> Five of you put your hands on. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, Paul said like this. He said, No, you not. Ye that are circumcised, your debtors to do the whole law. Wow. See, you, you better stay away from the law if you if you want to live for God. Come on, the law, the law is a taskmaster. How many think I'm nice? I'm not sure they think of it. At least they know you should be nice. Not even Sue. Is it this? Is it because I preach like this? Yes. 
But you didn't know that. It gave you tasks and it beat you if you didn't do it right. And you want to get up under that again. That's what happens when you don't follow grace. You make a mistake and grace picks you back up. You just lie and you be like, I also just got forgiven. Excuse me, little G-O-D. Come on, people put you in hell. That's right, that's the word. Faith eliminates the struggle you have with your flesh. Yes. Yes. One thing I try as a pastor, I try to get people past their mistakes. Amen. You repent, you get up. Amen. That's right. Or else we're all going to pass. The Bible says, you know, be not any masters, for in all things you offend all. Can you imagine as much as I say stuff about you that hurts your feeling? What if that was said? I'd be a rotisserie right now. Somebody be like, Pastor Rich, I want you to preach, man. You see, you get burned up now. But I have to offend to keep you alive. That's right. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. I will offend your flesh. Let's close. Go to Galatians chapter 3, verse 4. I got two minutes. 